Hey there pranksters, welcome back to another fun holiday video and just like the title says, in this video I will be showing you guys some really cool methods that will improve your chances of getting more Christmas presents this year. Just like I did for Halloween when I showed you multiple ways to get more Halloween candy, in this video I'm gonna focus on Christmas presents and how to get your family members to give you more of them come December 25th. But before we get started, I wanna give a quick shout out to AJ Salsa. He was one of the winners of a PS4 and here he is, he just got his PS4 in the mail before Christmas. So now let's get to the giveaways for this video and lately we've been reaching our like goals. For this video, once we get 10,000 likes, I will give away a brand new Nintendo Switch to someone in the comments and to participate, all you have to do is like this video and leave a comment below telling me what was the best Christmas present you got last year. Pretty much once we reach that goal of 10,000 likes, I will choose a lucky subscriber from the comments and that person will get a brand new Nintendo Switch in the mail. Again, a like and a comment is all it takes to participate. Good luck pranksters, now let's get this video going. Before we get to these, let's do a little recap of some clever ways that you guys can try to get more presents for Christmas this year. You can do this to all your family members. Just gather some empty boxes and put a small yet cheap gift in there. Along with this, you are going to add a significant amount of weight in there to make it seem like there's something really expensive inside the box. So just wrap it up and put it under the tree. Do this to multiple boxes and when your family members get nosy and try to figure out what's inside, they will think it's something very expensive because of the weight. So they will try to get you an even more expensive present or possibly just more presents. Another clever way is to make fake shopping lists with your family members names on it. You will include things that you are thinking about buying them. They should be some of the must have items and high in value. Once you're done with your list, leave it somewhere where you know they'll find it. Once they see their name and the amount of things that you plan on getting them, they'll want to get some nice things for you as well. Putting a plain and inexpensive gift inside a box of something really appealing always works. For example here, I have a shirt going into the box of a hoverboard. It can really draw some attention. Wrap it up, but just leave an opening so they can get an idea of what they're gonna get. Again, they'll think that you got them something really nice and of course they'll try to match it with something just as great. It might not be all about quality guys, quantity can play a big role in this. So if you were to buy very cheap gifts for your family members and wrap them up, they will be surprised at the amount of presents you got them, so they will try to equal the amount of gifts for you. Now let's get to more ways to get better and bigger gifts in large quantities for Christmas. For this first one, it's not about the size of the present or the weight of the present, but rather the size of the box you put it in. Obviously a large box will draw some attention. So for this example, here I have a small Hot Wheels toy car and its packaging isn't any bigger. So instead of putting it into a small gift box, you want to make your family members think that you got them something really huge. For this demonstration, I'll be using the box my Christmas tree came in. It's quite large and it's got an eye-catching size. I'm gonna take the little Hot Wheels car and put it inside. Of course, I will have to tape it down so it does not rattle once somebody shakes it. You guys can add weight inside by putting a dumbbell in there or something heavy but I will leave it as is just to keep them guessing. I'll tape up the box and then wrap it up real good. Although wrapping large boxes can be quite annoying but it's not hard at all. Just look at this. It looks amazing doesn't it pranksters? It's really big and once placed under the tree it will indeed draw a lot of attention. Whoever sees their name on the tag will be blown away and will want to get an even bigger present or possibly lots of little presents for you. Unfortunately for them, come Christmas morning they will be in for a big disappointment once they get to see what's inside the giant box. If I know presents is that they don't always have to be the biggest or largest or heaviest. For example here I have a box of candy canes that I bought for a dollar and change at Walmart. It's not the most appealing present if you ask me, but the objective here is to make one of your family members think that this is the ultimate Christmas present. Remember, we want to make this present look as nice as possible, so when it comes to choosing wrapping paper, use the best that you have available. For example here, I'm gonna go with the glossier, shinier one. Wrapping up should be a breeze since the box of candy canes is quite small. Once done, wrap some ribbon around the present. It just makes it look that much more nicer and eye-catching. When it comes to bows though, try to get the biggest, more appealing one that you have and slap it on. Now we have ourselves a 5-star present. Wow, it just looks so nice and it would hurt to actually rip it up on Christmas morning. 
again guys it's not the biggest present it's not the heaviest present but it sure does look beautiful and it would make anyone think that you actually took the time to wrap it up for them it will also make them think that there's something really expensive in there just by looking at it it will make them want to get you something nice or possibly even more presents one of the more obvious ways to get more Christmas presents is of course to get the best grades possible. Some parents have it where they will give out presents for every A and B their kid gets. No matter what, try to not get failing grades as December is usually when most kids tend to get their report cards for their first semester. You definitely don't want to get grades such as the ones you see right here. See, these are really bad grades. These are actually failing grades. But of course you'll have the second semester to improve these but for now we will have to cheat them so basically f's and d's can easily be turned into b's first try to match the color of the marker or pen your teacher used let's do some practice if you get a d you draw another d below it and now it has turned into a credible b simple right now as far as f's just fill them in and turn them into b's these are not hard at all guys again let's turn this d into a b and this F into a B. Now that we've practiced, let's do it on our actual report card. Just keep in mind that not all teachers write manually on report cards, so if that's the case with you, then you're out of luck. But if your teacher does write on them manually, then you can get away with this, and just like that, you turn your failing grades into passing B grades. Obviously, this would be a last resort to try to get the most presents possible. Another one I remember doing when I was younger was I would take an older test that I had taken where I had gotten an A and just change the date so it shows that I had recently taken that test and show it to my parents. If you can't find one, just print one out online and try to pass it off as a test you recently took. Sure, I know that these are some ideas that would definitely land you on the naughty list, but hey, kids gotta do what they gotta do. There's not much harm that can come from this, guys. These days, everybody writes down their wish list and puts on there what they want for Christmas this year. Most people take their time to make sure that they include everything they need. So if you have a sibling, why not hijack their wish list before they give them to your parents? If you are able to do this, you can actually redo their wish list. For example, here, I'm going to use my brother's wish list. First, let's take a look at it. And just as I suspected, my brother is being selfish and only asking for things that he would enjoy. For example, here, he is asking for the Grand Theft Auto 5 video game, which is a single player game a Nintendo Switch, which only one person can play at a time, wireless headphones, these are meant for only one person, and of course he wants a new iPhone. Well here is what we are gonna do guys, we are gonna write a new list on his behalf, with items that we would enjoy, for example here I'm gonna swap out the Grand Theft Auto video game for the FIFA 20 game, now that's a multiplayer game that I can enjoy myself. The Nintendo Switch will be switched to an air hockey table. I'll definitely have a good time beating him at that. His wireless headphones are now Bluetooth speakers, something that I can use to blast my music. No new phone for him, he will be getting a brand new flat screen TV where I can watch some Netflix. So to summarize, we are not getting these gifts, but we sure will enjoy them. Basically, once you have it ready, make sure your parents get your siblings wish list. So in my example, I changed everything about my brother's wish list to things I will enjoy once Christmas comes around. You may not be one of those kids that volunteers to do chores around the house. You might not be that one kid that cleans after him or herself during the year. But come December, you want to be that kid. You want to show your parents that not only are you a good kid, you're a great kid and parents definitely appreciate it when their kids do chores without being told to do them. They love it when kids volunteer to do things that they don't want to do. Great kids like these typically get rewarded and again it's always a great idea to start being good in December as it's still fresh in their mind that you are a great kid. You will definitely get everything you want this Christmas. Here's an old trick that you may or may not know but it will sure boost your chances at getting more expensive presents. For this example I'll be using this shirt I bought for one of my family members. It's brand new and it still has the tag on it and I really like this tag because in the area where it would normally tell you the price. It was left blank and that will be very essential for this to work. To pull this off you will need a gift bag or a box just like the one I have right here. Just as I said the present that we are gonna give them still has the tag on it. Since it's blank I can come up with any price I want 
and I want them to believe that I spent a lot of money on their present. For example here it will appear as if I spent $100 on this shirt. Now let's put the shirt inside the box and leave the tag sticking out. We will close it up and tape it up so no one can actually see the present, just the price tag sticking out. I'll try to hide the shirt tag with the gift tag but it can easily be seen. This is a very clever idea because once they spot the tag sticking out and look at the price, they will assume that you spent so much money on them. Obviously you didn't, but they'll think that you did and they will want to go back to the store and get you some pricey presents. If they fall for this, it's their own fault for being nosy and trying to see what's inside the gift box. This last one is a given. You will always get gifts regardless and pretty much there's nothing you can do but actually get lucky. By that I mean your birthday would have to land on Christmas day. Now this may or may not be a good idea. Some of you will argue that Christmas being your birthday will also be an excuse for your parents to give you less presents. But actually compared to the rest of your family members you will be the one that gets the most as everyone will be in the holiday spirit and in the giving mode. So the way I see it, if you could choose when to have your birthday, Christmas would be the best day. As for me, my actual birthday lands on New Year's Day, so I always get presents on Christmas and more presents exactly one week later. Now guys, if you don't want to cheat the system and get gifts the old fashioned way, well the best thing you could do is just try to be a good kid and stay out of trouble. Volunteer to do chores at home and don't talk back to your parents. Good grades will always come in handy. I know this may be a lot to ask for, but it's not that bad. Well there you guys have it. 10 fun and creative ways to get the most Christmas presents possible this year on December 25th. Hopefully you are able to pull this off right and get what you want this year. Now guys, at the start of this video, I announced the Nintendo Switch giveaway. And in order to get that going, we have to get 10,000 likes on this video. So if you wish to participate and have a chance to win a Nintendo Switch before Christmas, all you have to do is like this video and leave a cool comment below. Good luck Primesters, have an amazing holiday season, I'll see you guys in my next video.